The best man never gets the bride. After we're married, young lady, I'm going to put a stop to your flirting. Surely I have a right to keep my old friends. Friends, eh? I'm talking about lovers. Oh, how dare you! <laughs> The wedding is off. Now listen, that's just temper. Temper? Oh, why, I, I was never so calm in my life. Children! Why, what's going on here? Now listen, Mother, you better keep out of this. What was a crash? That was our engagement breaking. Oh, Mother. Dorothy, you can't break the engagement now. Please consider us. I can't stop the invitations. They've already been sent out. Oh, it'll be a scandal. Oh, I can't help it, Mrs. Venture. Look, he's your son. You stand lucky to postpone a wedding. Not if you keep on postponing it. All right, sis. Don't worry. I'll keep the wedding date all right. But she won't be the bride. And what's more, I mean it. My masterpiece is finished. Oh, my masterpiece. Oh. Oh. Hello, Rembrandt. You've improved since the last time I saw you. Well, what brings you here? I'm in trouble. Terrible trouble. Lady, you've got to be my wife. Huh? Oh, now, just keep quiet. I'll get your bromide. Now, listen, Grady. I'm supposed to be married Thursday. I've come to cancel my trousseau. The wedding is off. But you can admit it. Oh, but I do. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll just try on the going away suit. I'm going to travel and keep on traveling. I'll get it for you immediately, mademoiselle. Oh, oh now, Jack, I shouldn't be doing this. Now, wait a minute. You haven't anything to worry about at all. You just leave it to me. Oh, somebody Hello, Yvette. Trouble. Good day, Mr. Bintro. What can I do for you? Yvette, I want you to outfit my friend here as a girl. I don't think I could ever make him look like a woman. You cover him with a corset, simple. Now, Jack, I don't want to do this. We're getting in trouble for it. Oh. <laughs> oh, my. There you are. Nancy. Take your coat. Take your measurement. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Meadows. Where's everyone? Why, there's a... Uh, never mind. Carol! Mother Mitchell! Woo! I won't worry anymore. that you're back again. Did you cancel your torso? Uh, I mean, trousseau. Well, of course I did. Jack said he was getting another bride, didn't he? Well, you seem very happy at the thought. Naturally. I'm interested in seeing the young lady, Mother Bencho. And I must look my very best. I'll see you later. Step right in, darling. Thanks. Meadows, 
Take those upstairs. Hey, Jack. This course is choking me. What's the matter? <sighs> now I can breathe easy. Come, Mother. Oh, Millie, dear. <laughs> it's the hillbilly in me. <laughs> She's not at all like Dorothy, is she? Oh, so much sweeter, Mother. <laughs> well, well, so this is the lucky girl. Oh, uh, hello, Dot. Uh, Dorothy, uh, I want you to meet Millicent. Your future bride. <laughs> My, what an unexpected pleasure. That, that, that'll do. That'll do. Why, Jack, you shouldn't be jealous. Remember, jealousy broke our engagement. Oh. And I wouldn't want that to happen to Millicent. Now, kiss and make up. Go on. Go on, Jack. Uh. Time to go to bed. We've all got a busy day ahead of us. Now kiss and make up. Mother's waiting. Uh, 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 yes. Now? Uh, come on. Yeah. Well, come along, little children. Come along. Don't get to bed. Come on, Carol. Careful, Millicent, darling. No, no, kick the daylights out of you. Oh, listen, well, well, I what wanted did to I tell do? you something, you big devil crosser. I brought you here to burn my girl up. Well, she's getting warm, isn't she? Oh, I, you slug. <laughs> Jack, dear. Oh, what do you want? Where are we? <gasps> Where's your wig? Where's your wig? <gasps> Oh, there it is. Oh, where are they? Hurry up, hurry up. I'm happy. Come on, children. Hey, yes, dear, we're coming. <laughs> Don't push me. You see, uh, Dorothy has the guest room. Now, how can we arrange? Oh, that's all right. Millicent can share it with me. Well, you won't mind, will you, dear? <laughs> no. Oh, uh, 
No, that won't be necessary. Oh, Carol can give up her room and, and sleep with Mother. Oh, why, don't be silly, Jack. Mother must have her own room. Oh, <laughs> now, isn't Doc so full? Well, I hope you both sleep well. Oh, don't worry, we will. Come on, Millie. Night. Go to bed. Uh, yeah. now. You can see Millie in the morning. Go right in there and go to bed. <laughs> Sit down. Oh, oh, no. I'm not staying. Really, I'm not tired. Well, I'm going to slip into my negligee. Why don't you take your corset off and be more comfortable? Oh, all right, dear. I will. So. Mrs. Bencham's little boy, Walter. I just came up to tell you that, uh, that I'm going to sleep downstairs so Millicent can have a room all to herself. Why, don't be silly, Jack. I don't mind Millie in the least. Now, you be a good boy and go to bed. That's right, go on. Go to bed. Come on, Millie, get undressed. Come on. Why, come, you peeping Jack. Uh, Jack, you peeping Tom. Now, uh, listen, Carol. Where are the hooks? Oh, here they are. Oh, Dot, come on and sleep with me so Millie can have this room to herself. Jack? I'm a soulmate. <laughs> I don't mind in the least, Carol. I didn't think you would. Hurry up, Millie, dear. Don't you think Millie's cute? Yes, but she really ought to be beautiful. She's not too bad. Oh, you think so? Uh-huh, so cute. Oh, yeah. How am I doing? What did she want you to hurry for? Well, she asked me to slip into a negligee and come in there and have a smoke. Oh, no, you don't. Well, if I don't, she'll suspect me. She'll suspect you more if you do. Well, I'm only trying to help you out. Yeah, the more you help, the further I'm out. All right. I'll go in and kiss Dot goodnight, and then I'll come right back here and go to bed. No, you don't. Say, listen. If I catch you around those girls, I'm going to break your neck. You stay right here. Oh. Now, get into bed. I'll be back in a few minutes. Jack, what does this mean? Why, Mother, I, I was trying to help, uh, him, uh, I mean, I was trying to help her. Well, you wait uh, until after you're married. I'll go in and help But, her. Mother... No, uh, no, 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 uh, go back to bed. <laughs> oh, I've come in to help you get up dressed and ready for bed, Millicent, and dear. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, well, I'll have to prepare my face first. Oh, my dear, I have just the thing. Try this cream. Made from crocodile glands. <laughs> Come over here. Come right over here, dear, and sit down. Now then, Mamita, darling, sit right there like a good little girl. Now then, relax, dear, and close your eyes. Close your eyes. There. <clears throat> uh, my, you certainly have a delicate touch. Your skin is dry while the cream's all disappeared. <laughs> Why, your skin's not only dry, but it's very rough. Oh, it'll be all right when I shave. What? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, bathe. Oh. <laughs> you know, I have some marvelous skin softener. Oh, if I could only find it. Now, let me think. Yes. You wait right here now. I'll be right back. <laughs> Take good care of Juanita. Oh, I wish you were doing this instead of me. Now, 
See how you've messed me up with everybody? Yeah, did you see how your mother messed me up with that cream? I wish I'd never thought of this. Hey, look out. Your mother's coming right back. What? Hey, oh, well, get that wig. Oh, oh, get, there he goes. Get him. We get the wig. I love Dot. I can explain everything. So can I. 